What's up guys, welcome to another video, Zach here, and today we're going to talk about uh, M1 Finance and to narrow down the Roth IRA that I have uh, in there. Uh, this video is going to be uh, kind of small, I just wanted to put out a quick video uh, just to keep the mo momentum going. Uh, first of all, thank you to the new subscribers and for people starting a dialogue in the comments. What, didn't expect that much, <clears throat> that much uh, interaction, so appreciate it. And uh, thanks for liking the videos and like this one as well. And if you're new, stick around. Uh, so, real quick, um, as I mentioned in a video before, I have my Roth IRA with M1 Finance. Right now, I've just got $500 of my own money deposited into it. Because um, as I mentioned, I just now, um, recent, a couple months ago, learned about what IRA, uh, Roth IRAs actually are. At 29 years old, we all got to start sometime, I guess. So, there's that. So, here's the change that I'm making. So, as you can see right here, I am removing the Vanguard Growth ETF. Now, there's no, just, there's no real true um, reason like against it, against against the ETF. Um, this and like the total stock and uh, the S and P 500 are excellent funds to be in. However, I wanted to add a uh, a dividend ETF, um, a high yield a high yield dividend ETF, um, and I went with the this one. Uh, Ticker SPDR, it's the uh, SPDR portfolio S and P 500 high dividend ETF, and one of the main reasons I'm going for it is because I just want a different, a uh, little bit of diversification on the funds that I have because I got, I had, I initially had three Vanguard funds, and uh, this will give me a little, something a little, a little different, and the dividend yield is as of right now 4.56, expense ratio 0 0.08, so uh, not too bad, and. This will definitely uh, boost the dividend yield. Uh, as of having this, this will boost the dividend yield of the portfolio to just over two percent, which is great for me uh, because I want it. I want to have not just the growth, but I want you know the tax-free retirement account to have as much money reinvested as I can, and the, you know that's where it ties into M1 Finance being great since it has the drip investing. And it's just wonderful. And <clears throat> one more thing that I was going to do, I, w I had considered taking Amazon out completely. Um, I know that, you know, as when the whole trade war and the tariffs go away, eventually that it will, you know, everything will climb back up. Uh, but there's so much potential upside with Amazon, uh, especially I know they're doing free, uh, free one-day shipping on a lot of products now. So... There's just too much upside for me just by getting rid of it completely. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it. I did drop the percentage down a little bit to 15. Uh, took 5% away from the total stock. And then uh, I believe 5, five away from... Uh, uh, no, actually, I kept Berkshire Hathaway the same. And then the Vanguard Growth, well, the percentage that was there, the 10%, uh, went to the, uh, the dividend ETF. And we'll see how the changes make. I have about, let's see, about 22 minutes until the trades are done. Um, that is the one thing I hate about M1 Finance, how it's not instantaneous, but that's okay. Uh, you, it it kind of forces you to plan out in advance just a little bit, and I do like seeing 2.2% uh, return. But anyway, so uh, just a little quick little video there. I um, want to give updates as I do them, just uh, changes so I don't forget anything. And yeah, as with always, if you have any thoughts or you know opinions on what what could be done differently, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, as far as Berkshire Hathaway, I just love that. Um, I just love that stock way too much to get rid of it right now anyway. Um, and, of course, these funds are pretty self-explanatory. I guess the only argument could be made for Amazon, but I, just, I really don't see one a good one against it. So we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to sign off from here. Like the video. If you're new here, subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video.